designers. All right, we're all beautiful on the inside, but pretty takes practice. Now, there's a blemish here. That's from stress. These are my eyebrows. They're gone. I have redness around the nose, and right here, that's childbirth. I'm just going to say it, childbirth and hungover. So, we're going to fix it right away. Now, this is a tube of Crest White. Trick of the tree. Don't ask. It works. Load your brush up. Just load it up and just slather it on. Left and right, up and down, little circles. You can't do it wrong. We're just going to blend it all in so we have a fresh, clean palette to work on. Because let's be honest, no one's perfect unless they work hard enough at it. So take a sponge and just shove it everywhere. If you've got deep, deep pores, just go ahead and dig it right in. Dig it right in like a fat ex-boyfriend. Now this, I have no clue. I don't know what she's doing, but we're gonna find, find the blemish. Find the blemish, attack the blemish, blot the blemish. Find, attack, blot, that's what we're gonna do. Just make it work, make it work. This is going to be your BFF. It will cover everything but a bad attitude. That's right. Think of this as a blanket for your face. And let's be honest, some of us need a thicker blanket than others. Coming up next, this is precious. It's like a little hat box for an elf. I just love it for our accessories tower. Now, don't cake it on, nice and smooth. Roll it in. This is gonna make everything look nice and natural. As we all know in fashion, nothing natural ever happens naturally. You're gonna make us late for the early bird. What, again with the makeup and the thing. What are you, what is that, cheekbones? If I wanted to marry cheekbones, I would have married Ethel Marin. Now there was a, you could crack an egg on those cheekbones. What are you do? The, did you get that from the garage? Day and night with the makeup and the contouring and the fleeking. We dip the cat for fleeks. What? What is it? Why are you doing it? What are you doing with the eyes? Your eyes are perfect. Everything else is heading to the floor, but your eyes have stayed put. What are you, with the thing? Georgie! Georgie! Your mother's gonna try. What is the, what are you doing with the thing and the? It's brunch, it's not an audition for Braveheart. That's it, I'm going to the car. You and the sponge and the As always, my campus today, my wife, Crystal. Now, if it's your first time joining us, I want to welcome you to another season of The Joy of Face Painting. And as always, feel free to grab your sponges, grab your brushes, and paint along with us. Right now, my wife, the good Lord made her heart so perfect, spent so much time on her heart. Ran out of time on her eyebrows, so just a wisp of an eyebrow on top. We're going to fill in the eyebrows right now with eyebrow pencil number seven. And not too thick. Just a little thin, just a wisp of an eyebrow. Just like a whisper sliding down the side of the mouth. And it's your eyebrows, it's your world. Just get crazy. Not too crazy. We don't want to be a Disney villain, but you do want to have an eyebrow. You want to have an expression. You have an opinion. You matter. Let the world know. Let them know through your eyebrows. And if the eyes are the windows of the soul, then the eyebrows are the roof. And this little brush here, one of my favorite in the whole box. It's called a spoolie. Isn't, isn't that fun? Spoolie. You think I'm making it up, but I'm not pulling your leg. That's the name. Just pull the eyebrows right up. Now, your eyebrows, as I always say, you don't want them to be twins, but you do want them to be sisters. And how do you make sisters? Well, just a little bit different, with just enough the same to keep it interesting. So on the top, shape it out. Imagine an eyebrow, and then make an eyebrow. It's just that easy. They're eyebrows not heart surgery, because like I said, my wife's heart gets perfect. Her eyebrows, not so much. Now look at this guy right here. This little guy's my favorite in the whole box. This is the gimme brow. Yes, he is. He is the littlest guy, but he's the volumizing brush. Isn't it funny? The smallest guy does the biggest tricks. That's right, dynamite does come in small packages. Now be careful, you don't want to blow your brow up. No, you don't. Just a little flick of the wrist, a little flick of the wrist. You can go as big or as small as you want. It's your world just get crazy. Now the palette we're looking at right here, I love this. This is the Van Dyke Yellow. 
number two. You can use a number three, but we like to use number two for my wife's skin. And just contour it right in, just slide it right in the crack. And once you're done with that, we're gonna go with the Oxblood Red 74. You can use a 73 or even a 71 if it's on a Tuesday, but the 74 is our favorite. Just gonna fill it right in and, and, and just flick to the sides. Just give your little wrist a little flick in. And you can you could actually spread the color out nice and even. Up next we have the metallic champagne mambo number six. It's like a mermaid kissed your eyelid. Yes, it is. Just little mermaid kisses on both left and right. It's a happy little lid just a quick plug. Don't forget to join us next week as we continue our series on blurring the lines between seductive and soccer ball. Okay, face designers, take your eyeliner pencil, just dig into the waterline. Perfect. I love the left-hand side. It feels very chic, very postmodern, very editorial. The right side is kind of screaming, come see the softer side of Sears. I believe in you. I believe in your vision. Estelle, I've been in the car for 20 minutes. What better than sex? How would you even know the last time we were intimate? Eisenhower was president. Again with the thing in the eyes. Who, it's, who do you do it for? It's not for me. You... I have to be honest, with your face like that, you look like a brook trout. And up next is one of my favorites. It's Too Faced, the Love Flush Blush. Look at it, isn't that precious? Just a little heart. I love my wife, she loves me. And makeup loves us. Now the technique here is not very, not very challenging. You can do it at home. Just a, just a light dusting on either cheek, like a flutter of an angel wing. Just passing by. And if you ever feel like you've lost your glow, and we've all been there, let's let's admit that. Just grab a number seven fan brush, a little metallic, and then just flutter it right on, fresh as a daisy. This is the last time I'm coming in. This whipped caviar. Who's paying for this? To put fish eggs on your face? You know what they have at, at the early bird? They have fried chicken and catfish. All you can eat, all you can eat. But I wouldn't know because my wife has to paint herself up like some good time gal. And now thanks to the U-gram and the face tube, I gotta pay full price for chicken. Rihanna may shine bright like a diamond, but honey, you sizzle. Thank you for joining us and as always, Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back soon.